No rest for the wicket as Blackburn Rose return to league action to take on Warsaw at Ewood Park. Can we make amends for Saturday's errors? We'll talk about that and much more on today's show. That's right, folks, back once again with another match preview, this time building up to the midweek kickoff up against Warsaw. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. Yes, it's only been a day or so, or 24 hours even, since the 1-1 uh, the draw against Northampton. But Rovers return to action, hoping to get another three points and continue our beaten run, this time up against Walsall. Now, this game is one of those ones that have been postponed. We're finally getting round to it. So let's take a closer look at the match itself. It kicks off Tuesday, 30th of January, 2018 at Ewood Park. Last season, Walsall finished 14th in the division. They are currently 18th. So in and around about the position they finished last season, the man pulling the strings is John Whitney, top goal scorer, man who was linked with Rovers throughout the season, Erhan Utsuma. He scored 12 goals thus far. Uh, he might have scored more, actually. We'll uh, take a look at that in a little deeper later on. As for the history between the two sides, they played 15 games in all competitions. Uh, uh, Rovers winning eight, losing two, and they've drawn five between them. Over the last five results at Ewood Park, the results look like this. Last time out was a 2-2 draw in the League Cup, which happened 6th of November 2002. I'm not sure if Rovers won on the day or it went into uh, a replay. Before that was a 2-0 victory. Um, and that was the last time we got relegated under the stewardship of Graham Souness. Uh, before that, the last uh, comprehensive victory, I'd say, 3-0, was back in 1989 in the old Division 2. Uh, going back further, 1975, 3-3 draw against Walsall. And the last time we lost against Walsall at Ewood Park was in 1973, 22nd of December. That was in the old Division 3. That's for start 11. This is how I feel Rovers will start the day. Ryer in goal, Naimbi Downing, Williams at centre back, Bell at left back, Conway, Smallwood, Bennett, and Payne in midfield. Dak and Graham up front. Obviously, Dak in more of a wandering role, and you can't drop Graham right now. He is on fire. Obviously, a big loss will be Captain Mulgrew. Uh, I'm not sure if he's ruled out, but I'm going to go with it. I think he will be ruled out. Um, give him a little uh, extra 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever. Uh, to rest in preparation for the Plymouth game, which will be on Saturday. Uh, Bell was a, had a blinder on, uh, on the weekend against Northampton Town. And, uh, yeah, just mix it up a little bit in midfield. And, and I think Dominic Samuels kind of... Um, he hasn't really done much in my eyes. So I feel a little bit of a change. I will go with uh, Payne instead of Armstrong at the moment. Uh, I, I like Armstrong coming off the bench. He's very rapid. He's, he reminds me a lot of Chapman. Obviously not as not as creative skill-wise, but he's definitely got the pace. Uh, speaking of Chapman, I think he's getting closer and closer to full fitness. And there is rumours uh, rumbling around that we might snap him up on a permanent deal. Uh, I'm not sure if that needs to be done before the transfer deadline day, which will happen on Wednesday. Um, are we going to be busy on transfer deadline day? I don't know. There might be one or two more additions. Or well, there might even be a couple of exits out the door of Ewood Park. If you want to know what I think about the transfer special, if you want to know more about my opinion on the transfer deadline day, head over to my YouTube channel. I've got a buy, keep or sell transfer video who I think might leave the door uh, of Ewood Park for the last time. But anyway, let's talk more about the match. Let's take a look at the statistics. As for the statistics, they look like this. Bradley Dex got 12 goals. Moe's got 11 goals. Danny Graham there with 10 goals. And Dominic Samuel with 8 into the discipline. Smallwood's got 9 yellows. Uh, Bennett's got 6 Williams has got six, and Evans has got five yellows. Into the column you don't want to be in, but uh, Elliot Bennett finds himself well in front. Two red cards, Dominic Samuel, Scott Wharton, and Hakeem Harper, or Rakeem Harper, sorry. All with one red. Obviously, Harper no longer on our books. As for the last five results, they look like this. Obviously, last time uh, we took on Northampton Town at Ewood Park. Could only muster a draw. Before that, we were at Fleetwood, 2-1 victors. All the way back Saturday, January 13th, we took on Shrewsbury Town. Massive game that was, 3-1 winners. Uh, 6th of January, the FA Cup, we lost to Hull City at home. And all the way back on New Year's Day, Rotherham United, Blackburn Rovers ended 1-1. As for our visitors, they will line up like this. Roberts in goal, Kinsella, Roberts at centre-back, Guthrie, Leary, Chambers, Edwards, Dobson, the man Otsima, Bakayoko, and another Roberts. Is there three Roberts in the starting eleven? How balmy is that? 
Uh, as for statistics for Walsall, they look like this. Otama, apparently, according to Sky, he has 14 goals. Maybe that's in all competitions. Bakayoko's got seven. Robertson's got five. Leahy, he has got three. As for the yellows, Bakayoko tops that table with six yellows. Chambers, Edwards have five. As for Guthrie, he has three. And the only man to be sent off is Bakayoko. As for the form book for Walsall, it looks like this. Last time out, they lost to Charlton. That was 25th January. 3-1 before that. Uh, they picked up an impressive victory against um, a woeful Oxford side, two one winners. Before that, they lost to Plymouth at their place. Uh, 30th of December, 2-1 loss to Rotherham. And all the way back on Boxing Day, we'll saw uh, nil, Bristol Rovers nil. So you've heard a little bit of what I've had to say about the match. What have the fans been saying about the match? Uh, well, to be honest with you, absolutely nothing. People are still talking about the Northampton game. But if you head over to the BRFCS forum, people are talking about the Warsaw game. And this is a couple of comments of what they've been saying as kickoff approaches. Uh, Chaddy Rovers said this, we need a win and I fully expect it. My team would be Raya, Naimbi, Downing, Williams, Bell, Bennett, Smallwood, Payne, Dak, Armstrong and Graham. It's pretty similar to what I would. From that lineup, I'm, I'm looking at who would be captain. You would maybe argue Smallwood or Bennett would be uh, probably captain. On his bench, he's got Lau Alicadis, Travis, Samuel Conway, Nuttall and Wharton. And they said he's going to go for a 3-0 Rovers win. Uh, so a very strong lineup, but I think similar. Someone posted something similar in regards to the Northampton Town uh, match. But again, your th most three most creative players are on the field already when you if, if shit hits the fan um, and we go one nil down you look at that bench and you think Samuel Conway Nuttall are your your three attacking options um, yeah I, 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 I don't think they are I don't see many game changers on that bench you know obviously Nuttall could score occasionally so can Samuel but it's it's just lacks a little a little bit of uh, little bit of buzz in my eyes. Anyway, uh, Garage Flower says this. Can't disagree with that team. He's obviously talking about Chady Rovers' team there. Obviously, Tony has to play it smart and wait before throwing Payne and Armstrong in the starting 11 straight away. Samuel and Conway can't say they've done enough to keep their place. Williams looked okay at centre half, and I thought Bell looked really impressive. Looked exactly what we've been missing at fullback, although I think Naimbi has vastly improved past few weeks. I expect a win Tuesday. Pretty much said what I just said there. You can't really throw all your creative players on at once. Um, and they're still trying to uh, adapt to Tony Mowbray's system. Anyway, Frosty said this, agree the team needs mixing up a bit, on the wings especially, so we'd go with something similar to the above. No excuses here, no matter how bad the ref is or how long people think the keeper is taking with each goal kick, a win is a must. Hope to see us create more chances than yesterday and get more shots on target too. 2-1 Rovers, he says. Uh, and that's pretty much all that's been going on thus far. It's still early days. It is very, it's very early Sunday morning. So, um, you know, obviously as kickoff approaches deep into Sunday evening and Monday, uh, there will be a lot more comments. So feel free to check out that BRSCS forum uh, and maybe even throw a comment yourself. Anyway, over the years, a number of players have played for Blackburn Rovers and Warsaw. Here are just two of them. Now, this is a bit of a stretch. Uh, Andy Taylor was on the books of Blackburn Rovers, and he was also on the books of Walsall. He didn't really make the grade at Rovers, and I'm not sure how, how he fared at uh, Walsall. But he was uh, he did get some game action, albeit uh, probably pre-season, so I do apologise. That was a bit of a, bit of a stretch. Uh, and then this fella, Simeon Jackson. Now, uh, formerly of Gillingham as well. Um, he arrived, I thought I was expecting big things, not big things, but at least reasonable things when Simeon Jackson arrived at Blackburn Rose, but it didn't really happen for him. Uh, he was cut loose. Uh, I don't know if he ended up at Warsaw or um, or Warsaw was before Blackburn Rovers, but either way, he's played for both of them. If you want to check out the full list of all the players that have played for Blackburn Rovers and Warsaw, head over to my WordPress site. Details are in the description below. Uh, I have to save a couple for the return leg when we head down to their place. Uh, save the best till last, so uh, wait till that bad boy comes around. You've heard what I've got to say about the match, you've heard what some fans have been saying about the match, but none of that really matters. What really matters is what Cast the Cat thinks will happen between Blackburn Rovers and Warsaw. Let's take a look. <laughs>
much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. If you want to keep up to date with me on Twitter and Facebook, there are links in the description below. And like again, big shout out to the guys at the BRFCS forum. If you've not checked out the forum, make sure you do so. Also, the link to that forum is in the description below. Uh, there are There is another game going on on Tuesday. I think it's Wigan. I don't know who they're playing. Um, so hopefully, we, we, we might be able to... We might be able to get things back on track should we pick up a win uh, against Walsall. That win could put us back into second place. Shrews, we don't play again to the weekend. Uh, if we're going to lose, then we'll be one point behind them. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of ifs, ands, and buts and all this, and we don't really want to be in this situation. We want to we want to be in the top two, uh, you know, regardless of, of math and games in hand and all that kind of stuff. We want to, we want to cement that second spot. And one step to doing that is beating Warsaw on Tuesday. So I'm hoping that we can, we've, we've drawn so many games recently and it's quite frustrating. I know we're still unbeaten and, and the desire's there um, and we just have bad days. It's just been a lot of bad days at the office. Uh, a lot of teams come to Ewood um, their first time in 20, 30 years uh, and they, they make an occasion of it and they, they, they try, and, try and go away with something. Whether it be a cheeky win, for example, Wimbledon, you know, they're going to make that trip home like a party bus, party atmosphere. So uh, it's a big occasion for them when they come to Ewood Park. And I, know, I don't want to sound like, a, you know, a cocky pants or anything like that. But Blackburn Rovers, Premier League winners, we, we were Premier League team for a good 20 odd years. So we have the facilities and for them, it's, 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 a, it's a day out. It's a grand day out. Um, and when they do pick up a point or, or a cheeky win, you know, we don't hear the end of it. So... Warsaw are the next team that's going to come to Ewood for the first time in, in, in a long while. So they'll be just doing the same. And uh, they have a good player in, in Otsima. Enough jibber-jabber. I've talked, talked the back door out of this one. So the next time you'll see me will be a review video shortly after the final whistle. So stand by for that one. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.